Hi everybody, I'm Courtney and I work here at Missouri Star Quilt Company. I am head of our sewing team, which is a dream job. Three things that you might not know about me are um, my brothers gave me the nickname Squirrel as I was when I was a kid because I never shut up. People that know me find that quite shocking. And now as a quilter, it fits well because I'm like, oh, a new pattern, oh, some new fabric, oh, as we all do, right? Another thing uh, you may not know about me, when I was 14, I got to travel to Europe with America's Youth in Concert. And the last thing you may not know about me is if I could have any wild animal as a pet, I would do it. Like I see the videos with raccoons and people have them in their houses and I'm like, I want a pet raccoon. But so that's what you might not know about me. I'm here today to share my um, hexagon and my English paper pieced project, my latest one. The latest one that I, and I actually got it done, and that's my favorite part about this project. And here you go. This pattern is called Flowers for Emma, and it's by A Quilting Life. Um, I did hand stitch the English paper pieces to the background. So that was nice. I find that after I'm sewing in the studio all day, on the machine that at night I like to relax with a hand sewing project. One of the things that I learned in this project, I'm always learning even after doing this for 30 years, I think we all are, right? Every project teaches you something. And uh, this one taught me that when I was putting the fabric around my hexagon shapes, I usually use squares, which doesn't seem like it would work, but it does and it goes, it's much faster to cut out squares than it is hexes. And I also did that with this yellow fabric. However, I found when I started to pull away the paper out from behind the yellow, you could see that gnarly edge from the squares behind it. So I did have to go back, or I went back and trimmed that seam allowance to make it look neater. So take it from me, if you start to do an English paper precinct project and you have a lighter, um, a lighter color of fabric, you might wanna actually use a hexagon shape to go around the hexi but it wasn't a big disaster. I fixed it, worked out great. And I was gonna hand quilt this, but I think I'm gonna take it out to our machine quilting department and let them use their magic. Some of the other things I'll quick sh quickly show you of my English paper piecing. These are um, out of a book called Peace Texies. And these are kind of fun. I was thinking I might use these as uh, flowers and maybe do like a flower garden type thing. Don't ask me how old these are. They're over 20 years old. <laughs> See, and they've aged well. <laughs> they age better than I did. Um, this is a little tiny one um, that I just started, and this is also, I was doing this when my kids were in college and they're now in their 30s, or in high school, and they're now in their 30s. So that's been going on a while. This is another one of my, um, this was a great project. My sister-in-law gave me this old quilt top that she found in upstairs, I think, in her house. And the piecing on it, I think they used like really thick hand piecing thread and some of them aren't pieced well, you can see that, and it just made me sad. So I got on, um, I figured out how big of paper pieces I needed, and I got on the paperpieces.com website, and I started taking apart the blocks, and now I'm re-putting them back together, and they got a little smaller, but that's okay. I think I'll, I'll take the small over, over what it looks like. So I've been having a lot of fun taking these apart and putting them back together. These are just two more hexes. For those of you that don't know what English paper piecing is, you usually have some uh, paper, a little bit heavier than normal paper I use, or cardstock, and then you wrap your fabric around it and you can baste it in place either with thread or glue. And that's how you get your shapes and then you hand piece them together. You can um, machine piece them together, but I usually do it by hand. This shape, this shape I did, um, I used on this, on these stars out of this fabric and I fussy cut them. So I had a clear template that I laid, made out of um, plastic that I laid over top and got some of these great fun blocks. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those yet. These are also that fabric's probably eh, 10 years old. It's by Benertex. <laughs> and the last things are, these are from fabrics. I made a quilted jacket about 15 years ago, 20 years ago, and these are fabrics left over and I think I'm gonna make these into a zipper bag.
This is what I'm making. Share with us what you're making at hashtag MSQC Show and Tell.